Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Tristan and today in this video what I got going on for you guys is we are going to be discussing the Jordan 4 Bread Reimagine which did just have some pairs dropped this morning. Well, it was the main release, not just some pairs. It was the, you know, official drop for them and men's pairs were a little bit hard to hit on for most people at least. I saw a lot of GS dubs. We'll kind of show that in this video. Actually, the retail prices are very reflective of that. Men's pairs went up, GS ones went down. A lot more people took, you know, dubs and GS pairs pairs than men's pairs i saw very few uh wins for men's i mean i saw some but not as many as people were expecting you know they did like two hundred twenty thousand men's pairs we already had the shock drop yeah that's gonna cause prices to go up and we'll you know show that all in this video we'll even uh show y'all i mean I've, I've shown the breads up close just kind of a quick uh view for you guys just to see the leather uh here let me kind of show you all that by the back but yeah really really nice amazing everyday pair that's one of the main things i can mention about this right off the bat but let's get into it you want to check my instagrams down below anything like that i'm always buying selling trading kicks here just shoot me a dm if i didn't get back to you just shoot me another one uh sometimes my messages get you know put in like the hidden requests uh section on instagram so i don't see them all the time so just again message me again sometimes they'll now pop up in the general section so i can just see them right away but that's it Hope y'all will uh, check me out here. Again, I'm always posting, you know, photos. Just did a couple uh, ones recently, some early Paris stuff like that. But let's dive into it. So uh, heading into the Jordan 4 Bread Reimagine, let me know, uh, excuse me, let me show you all uh, what I mean by the prices going up. So as you guys can see, uh, this was, I, I pulled this up literally seven, eight minutes ago. Now let me refresh it and show y'all how many sales uh, have happened in those seven to eight minutes. Ready? 200 sales. Over 200 sales. Y'all y'all just saw that, right? Over 200 sales. There's tons of people that want these throughout the world. And there was just not enough stock again. I mean, this is just a meme with Nike at this point. There was, more, I think there was more pairs on the shock drop. I think the shock drop had 240K. It was around, or no, I think I might be wrong on that. But I know the shock drop had about 230, 220,000 pairs. That, that, that's where I'm thinking. I, I could be incorrect on that, but it was about the same that we saw on the main release. So basically what they did is they just divided it straight down the middle. They did some via sneakers pass, some via exclusive access, sent some, uh, the rest of them basically to retailers. And yeah, then we had some sneakers this morning, but it was not that easy to hit them. Cause again, when millions of people are wanting a pair, uh, you know, they're still gonna be L's, right? Even if there's only a couple hundred thousand or there is a couple hundred thousand of them, I guess not only, but cause you know, that's just still a fair amount. But when you have millions of people that want them, that amount of stock, there's gonna be else but as you guys can see even size seven went up remember a week ago when this was going for 240 and people were like oh man these are going under retail guys too many people want these for these to ever go under retail that's just the honest point i mean grade school some sizes we're already seeing it you know for like four wide four and a half wide ones that really aren't like in a lot of demand usually but also just those are the sizes in gs4s you should not hold you should avoid um but they're also ones that are a little bit easier to grab if you need those sizes just because you know they're much cheaper but as you can see 10 and a half plus basically those are the sizes that went up because they were a little bit harder to hit on uh i got nine through 12 right now i'm just gonna be holding on to them I'm, there's still no point in selling these right now they're only gonna go up uh as you can tell by today with the amount of demand the amount of people rushing to apps uh it just shows you a lot of people weren't entering for you know their local Foot Locker stuff maybe missed out in a couple raffles or you know there was people that are being diligent entered everywhere and they still took l's everywhere and that happens trust me i've been there with some releases and this is one of those uh even though it's it, they made it seem like there's going to be tons and tons of pairs still not enough for people also keep in mind the back door for this release there were so many pairs getting backdoored that that's just you know going to make it a little bit harder uh to grab them and also that's going to give you all false stock numbers as you saw today with the men's pairs two hundred twenty thousand. I i don't think there was two hundred twenty thousand based off how many l's i saw and based off I, i'm friends with a lot of people that are really big in the botting scene and um yeah straight else like they hit some men's pairs but not as many as they usually would they hit tons and tons of gs but uh it seems like everybody was hitting grade school pairs uh rather than men so as you can see we have the slight hump of these rising today about you know a little 15 20 dollars on those sizes on average we'll probably see you know it settle like this kind of in this range where the smaller sizes are going for a bit less a little less demand but the bigger sizes like 11 11 and a half 12 13 those are the money sizes for this shoe right here because they're going to only rise more and more over time 
them, the ones that are really in uh, the most demand, excuse me, in the most demand, but it just seems like those ones are also a little bit less produced and more people go and buy. Like size 11 is one of the most popular selling sizes. So that ends up just being one I buy a lot of the time because someone will always want it down the line. And again, this is a great all leather sneaker. So just another thing I thought I'd mention about the men's pairs, they rose in price, the stock numbers were probably not fully truthful today. And uh, a lot of people took L's because of that. But, you know, it just shows you the back door, you know, there wasn't as many pairs available uh, as people thought, and that's why those rose. So, looking at the grade school pairs, as you guys can see, uh, for these, these have dropped in price. The main reason being uh, is that, again, a lot of people took dubs in these today. A lot of people just need to clear that capital out. You can see uh, most sizes are at retail right now. So, some people are literally just selling these uh, for straight loss, which doesn't make sense to me. Like, after tax and everything on Nike, I think it's like 169 or 171 depending on where you live. I pay like 171 I bought some grade school pairs retail this morning. No no big deal just buy some uh i guess a little bit lower uh if people are selling them for this low you know i'll just i'll find those people you know that might be selling them under retail because that's pretty crazy you know for a shoe like this especially with a grade school four this just reminds me of the thunder force because the men's pairs went up a little bit and then the grade school pairs eventually went up and nobody wanted those at first those were dropping on shopify sites a couple weeks after the release and just sitting for a bit uh and people really just weren't even looking at them as something that would be worth uh holding on to so Again, this uh, based off the demand I've seen for men's pairs, I think these will be a good bet over time. You just got to be patient because clearly there's some undercutters out there right now. So just don't sell right now. There's no point. So I have a lot of grade school pairs on the way. I'm just being patient. That's really going to be the best bet. So aside from everything I just mentioned right there, that's pretty much what I can say about the bread reimagines. Men's sizes uh, are the ones to hold right now. I mean, grade school, definitely go grab some because it seems like you have a cheaper buy-in point right now. So you might be able to find some for a really good deal. Again, any fours when you can buy them at retail, I just, I think it's a good bet. So I'm going to go get some more grade school ones. Even if they're at retail right now, I got time because uh, GS fours don't stay at retail. Go look at uh, any ones from 2022, 2023, aside from like red cements and some of the really ugly colorways. It's a classic and you can tell by the sales, a lot of people want them. So I'm not afraid to hold on to these, especially big sizes, 12, 11, 13. I mean, the demand today, just the amount of sales. I mean, here, let me refresh again. We've, we've been recording for like five minutes. Let, look, ready? Another 100 sales. I mean, that should show you how many people want this shoe and how many L's people took, right? Because, I mean, you're not running to apps and buying this pair. If you took a dub, right? Wouldn't make sense. So that's really all I got to say. Hold these. It'll be worth your time. So again, if y'all want more content like this, please subscribe and like down below. It's trying to 200 likes. Let me know if y'all took a dub, y'all took an L. You hitting GS today? Did you hit men's? If anybody hit men's, let me know what size because that's a pretty fire win. And I would definitely uh, keep those based off what I've said in this video. Just I think this would be a good bet over time. Not a lot of people were hitting those. And the stock numbers looked false, were they? Can't really say. You really never know with Nike, right? It's like you can guess the numbers or get really close, but it's like, well, there might have been some pairs out the back door, a stolen pair, you know, or two, or more than a few, <laughs> right? Like, so yeah, it's it's hard to tell what the exact numbers are. But yeah, check me out down below if y'all want to. Always buying, selling, trading kicks. Uh, I will have some bread reimagines available for sale. Just DM me your size that you need, and uh, I'll be sure to get back to you. I'm, I'm right now. I think I'm, I have like 11 and a half, 10, uh, and 11. Maybe a 12. I got to confirm with this guy because I'm, I'm buying some pairs around 260s today. Maybe, maybe. That'd be a great deal. And then I'd be able to, you know, flip them uh, to you guys. Get some good prices. So that's it. I'm going to end that screen recording. I'm Tristan. Thank you guys. And hopefully I will catch you all in the next video, which will be either tomorrow or Monday. We might be back to the daily uploads. I'll let y'all know though. Peace. Sticks made a fucking hit.